Well, we're back again, guys. We're going to keep going on the sheathing. I'm going to showcase this disgusting mess we have uh, inside and out. But, uh, of course, I had to cut some of that flitch pile up, all those uh, cuts off the mill, and get those out of the way so we can keep moving. But um, So anyway, we're just going to keep plugging away here. I'm going to see if I can burn up that truckload of wood today. And we'll see where we go from there. So stay tuned. Is this great or what guys i'll tell you what what a nice evening of progress here tonight actually i actually got you guys on camera for a little daylight for a change haven't had that in quite a while huh so oh i'm excited you know i went to bed last night at 10 o'clock and actually got a really good night's sleep amazing how recharged you feel after that but anyway as you can see we're around the bend we're making good progress we are 
a quarter of the way down this side. Um, I still have more boards in the truck to use, but I'm going to call it a night because uh, I get a lot more done when I'm not tired, <laughs> if you can't tell. So, anyway, we're making progress, guys, a little bit at a time. This is exciting. I had to see something else go up. You know, you spend a lot of time cutting joints and stuff like that, and you don't see anything get raised for quite a while, and you, you feel like you're spinning your wheels, but then you get a couple days like this, you know, where or you could just fly with it. I took yesterday off because we had a lot going on, so came back to it tonight, and uh, we got quite a bit done, so I'm excited about it. I'm happy about it. So obviously I still have more floorboards to put up. They're gonna gonna be going on pretty soon, so probably in another week I'll go buy uh, as much lumber as I can again. It's amazing how much faster it is when you're not milling the stuff. Um, it's it's worth it for me to mill the beams and the posts, all the timbers. The big timbers it is more than worth it for me to mill them up. But these one inch boards, now you guys have seen me in past videos where I'll get a stack of one inch boards and I'll, I'll rip them with a circular saw into ten inch boards because it's just hard to mill those that way. But uh, you know to be quite honest with you guys that is a major time consumer and it really slows your progress down. So the time it takes me to, say, make 20 boards that way, I can go six miles away down to the Amish sawmill and get a truckload, you know what I mean? And then uh, I'm not dicking around with it, I could just throw them up. But it's kind of nice to be able to do that. I kind of, uh, I don't even feel guilty about it, to be honest with you. Anything I could do to save time, not to mention, like I said, that truckload I brought home the other day was 219 bucks, 40 cents a board foot. I can't really beat that. Not for not for lumber like this. Um, for my timbers, yes, I can do it. My cost with the sawmill, and even if I was uh, and buying the logs, I should say that adds up. I still spent half on these timbers that I would have spent mill or uh, buying the timbers somewhere else already done at for at forty cents a board foot. So I can't really complain about the cost. Um, the sawmill is definitely worth it for a project like this if you're able to source your logs. If you're not able to source logs, it's going to cost you a lot more. I mean, I'm going to have, if I put the roof, let's see, let's figure this out. So if I put the roof into it, that was 1200 just for the tin. That is no gable end trim. That's no ridge cap. But it was 1200 for the tin. I had... What I have four grand in the concrete, so there's fifty two hundred, and I have another. By the time I get done buying the timber and everything, probably four grand into that. So about ninety two hundred to build this barn. Now the cost of the sawmill, that was six grand. You guys have that cost. So what I'm saving in material, I figured it out in board footage when I first sat down and started planning this project out. I figured right around 30,000 board feet. So it would have cost me somewhere around 13, 14 grand just for lumber for this. So I'm doing pretty well. Figure four grand in the lumber versus 13 or 14 grand in lumber. I'll take it every day. You figure that in with the $6,000 for the sawmill, that mill's paid for itself on this project, hands down. And I'll have it for when this is done, because like I said, we have a lot of woodwork and stuff coming up. I have uh, black cherry mantel pieces milled up. I've got cabinet lumber milled up. I have table lumber milled up, some uh, eight-quarter black cherry, stuff like that. So as soon as the shop's done, we got to make it pay for itself. That's that's the deal. I. If I can't have a hobby that does not pay for itself. It's just things are too tight, you know. That's most of us in this day and age. We're all working people, and that's the way it goes. So a little bit of a ramble there. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. We'll do all the traditional YouTube plugs and uh, share the videos if you feel like it. That helps us out. Comment, whatever you like. So anyway... You guys have a good evening. I'll catch you on the next one.